SSW's core business is web application development. We build things from the ground up. So we build really difficult technical applications. The more interesting and, and pushing the edge and bleeding edge the project is, the more happy we are and the more excited we are about that project. So we mainly build CRM systems, ERP systems, line of business web applications, portals, uh, intranets, and mobile applications. We use primarily Microsoft technologies, but we will use anything that's the most effective thing for that job. So SSW has been around for 30 odd years. We were always at the bleeding edge of everything. We did the first .NET website in Australia when it was still in beta. People have got a lot of different options, right? If, if they are wanting a piece of software built, they can hire someone or a team of people. They can go offshore and get people offshore to do the work for them. Or if they want to make sure that they're going to have quality and sort of have more certainty about what they're going to get out of this process, then they go to a consultancy. So that's where we fit in. We come in, you know, you know that the developers who are going to be working on your project are of a certain level. You know that the process is going to be managed um, with a, a repeatable process that works. And you know you're going to get something out of it that is good quality. We're quite careful to make sure that we architect all our solutions based on scalability and testability and extensibility. So we use clean architecture, we are careful to use the right kind of API, the right data layer, the right technologies for each layer of the application. And we try and separate those out as much as possible so that, for instance, if you're working on an Angular application one day, and then two years down the track, Angular's out of favor and Blazor's in, that's the new cool thing, then we can easily swap one out for the other. Actually delivering like minimum viable products to a client who then gets to use it you know, in the wild, actually get out there and start using it, and they report back that how massively changing that has been for them and then for their organization. And then often that will then spread to different parts of the organization as, as you know, team A sees that team B is doing the same amount of work in half the time. Uh, and that's really exciting, that's really cool. Being able to know which uh, technology platform will solve your problem the best and be the most future-proof is something that most people, most individuals, can't answer. So people come to us because we have a wide breadth of experience across multiple industries and we can answer those kind of questions. SSW's mission is to figure out the best way to do everything. So that goes from software best practices, what technology to use, where, communication, even down to how to format an email, we, we obsess over. We're really very, very nerdy about this kind of stuff. Today, I'm talking about a really important topic called technical debt. Whenever we figure out that you know, one particular piece of software works for this or doesn't work for that or should be done like that or should be configured like that. We write that up and we get it up publicly on rules. We've also got SSW TV, which is the video equivalent of that. Hi everybody and welcome to this month's .NET user group. There are different kinds of um, web provider companies out there. There are the ones who can just take existing pieces of software and configure them and make them look pretty. Um, obviously, the, the marketing agencies, most of the digital agencies aim at that. They use existing platforms and just work out which platform will fit the client. That's not really us. Where we come in is we build software that doesn't already exist. So if you can't find an off-the-shelf application to do what you need it to do, or just 60 to 70% of, of what you need is not enough, you need 100% of what you want, that's where you come in and get a custom piece of software built from scratch exactly to your specifications and then it can grow with you. You can have it do whatever you need it to do now, and then you can change that up over time, add more functionality to it, extend it, take bits out, simplify it, re-architect it, do anything you want with it. Building custom software is not cheap. It's expensive. Um, it's expensive upfront, as opposed to if you buy a piece of software, you buy, you're paying a licensing fee and you're paying that forever. The long-term investment is very, very powerful because you have something you've already paid for, you're not paying ongoing costs for it, and it's supporting you and giving you efficiencies forever as long as you use that software. Software development is risky. It's very risky. And anyone who says it's not is not doing it seriously. SSW is very, very careful to manage that risk and to make everything as visible as possible. So what we use is we use Scrum on top of hiring the best guys we can, putting the right team together, giving it the right process, and making sure that the client's fully invested and knows exactly what's going on. We have clients come to us who are non-technical on occasion, who have an idea and they need to be walked through how that idea becomes a software technical reality. 
Uh, and we are well placed to do that because we are also trainers as well as being software developers. So although most of our audience is a technical audience, we still know how to make these obscure concepts understandable to the extent that they need to be by the product owner. Having worked here for so long, I've seen so many different businesses and so many different problems solved. And I've got a really good feeling for what's easy, what's difficult. When someone comes here for an initial meeting and they want to talk about their idea, I know pretty well if that's an idea that's already solved or if it's an idea that uh, has really has legs and is interesting and if is it easy to solve or is that quite hard to solve we have frameworks that we can use to get us 80 percent of the way there like dynamics 365 and office 365 for a lot of different problems and we know when it's appropriate to use those and when it's not when you want to start building something from scratch the main advantage of being so heavily aligned with microsoft is that we can get help when we need it so as an example, we had a SharePoint job where we had a 48 hour support call with the actual SharePoint development team to get past an issue where we were doing something really, really bleeding edge. And we managed to get past that point. I don't think that's something that anyone else could say that they've done. SSW is super careful about how we uh, develop our staff and how we hire our staff because our competitive advantage is just a combination of which developers we put in the project and what process we put them through to make sure the software works out well. So we have a hiring process that is extremely long and arduous and difficult, notoriously so. So we have a very, very high bar and we, that makes a huge difference to the software outcomes that our clients get. Everyone here is, is a Microsoft developer of some kind and then they specialize into different areas. And we, we develop that as well. Um, so those people who work here, once they're here, they sort of pick a thread that they think they're really interested in and we push them until they're the thought leaders in that thread. We get people who are great and we make them amazing. The way we do software with Agile and with Scrum, the client is an integral part of the, of the team and without them, it won't work. Being agile means you're able to change your mind uh, at a moment's notice. So you can say, I'm building this. Oh, actually, no, that's going to be too difficult. Maybe it'd be better to go this way. Oh, we just had a new idea. Let's do this. Our oh, bug came up. That's really important. Let's do this. So you're constantly tacking back and forth until you work out exactly where you need to land. So communication is very important. And we stress that with every client that works with us, they're not just signing us up and then saying, right, go away and make me some software. They're going to be coming on the journey. The good thing about having your own piece of software is you have full control over your own business model. You can choose exactly how you want to operate. If you find that there's some part of it that's uh, inefficient and slowing you down, you can get rid of it. Um, if you have a new idea for a whole sub side of the business, you can create software off the same thing that's fully integrated that will help you and support you through that as well. The rate of innovation has taken off at a massive level. So, you know, even a site we did five years ago and a site we did 10 years ago were relatively similar. Five years to now, completely different. So, you know, the, the takeoff of JavaScript frameworks, um, of cloud computing, of machine learning, all the interesting elements that have all come together at the same time, the things that were super, super difficult, um, it's made them much, much easier and it's made them available to anyone. So anyone who knows how to pull the right pieces from the right places and put them together in the right way can make amazing things now and you could build a software powerhouse with zero hardware just by using cloud components. So that's a really, really exciting place to be for us. The reason that companies are able to do so much more than they used to is software. And we can give any company that superpower.